What's going on, my Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what the fuck is popping? What's up? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all. Thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. To my members only community. Mm, 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 mm. Mwah. I love you guys to the moon and back. You know that. If you clicked on this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that join button. Become a part of the members only community. We'd love to have you there. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, everything you need to know will be in the description box below. If you click on that super thanks button and donate to the channel, your name will go into a drawing for a free 30 minute personal reading with me. Grab your coffee, your blunt, your perk, your H2O, whatever the fuck it takes, your Newport 100 I just heard, or shorts, and let's dive into these energies. Let's connect Scorpio. What are the messages? Alright, so the first card flipped. He, she, nomad, never judge a book by its cover. They're secretly loaded. Yep. So, Scorpio, somebody, somebody is <laughs> admiring you from afar, but they're, they're trying to come across as like being broke or like they're, you know, very modest here or somebody who's, um, very generous somebody who knows how to be generous in other ways than other ways other than being monetarily thoughtful okay i'm hearing this person is very thoughtful they're not romantic per se but they're very thoughtful what do i mean when i say that um you know like to me if somebody romantic they'll give you like 11 red roses with like a white rose in the middle and say that's you that's my sea of love around you. That's romantic. Somebody who's thoughtful, you know, like, say for instance, your grandma died on March the 10th. On March the 10th, you know, they're going to have, like, all your balloons blowed up for, to do this, like, release. They're going to make sure, like, all everything you normally do for that, they're going to make sure that, you know, they that you got all that shit lined up. You know what I'm saying? They thought, like, it's that type of energy. This person is very thoughtful. But they come across that way because of how much money they got. And they don't want you to know it, Scorpio. But you don't give a fuck whether they got money or not. Your whole thing is, do you fucking look? Do you fuck with me? Like, for real. This shit ain't about how I look, is it? This shit ain't about you getting me in the bed, is it? Like, to me, it just seemed like with us knowing about that five minutes, that men know what they're going to do with us within five. To me, that's power. Like, bitch, I got a whole list of questions. You, we might need 10 minutes for you to figure me out. Period. We might have to rewrite Steve's book. Shit, it might already be re uh, rewrote. Shit. Because that was powerful to me. Y'all know it is. I'm still talking about it in a whole other video. What the fuck going on, Scorpio? Okay. <laughs> Scorpio, you are something else, baby. And everybody know it, honey. Everything is out in the open book. Ooh. All right. So your um overall energy is public eye, social media beef, oh lord. All right. So if you in the if you in the public eye, it's gonna be a big public spat going on. Yeah, this could even be me. I don't know. Could be could be a warning from my spirit guys, but look out for that. That's just a stop. We'll keep that back though. Cause if it like when I hear the word beef, I'm like a bitch just mad. Cause why would why would why would I beef with you? What that shit Carter B said <laughs> I why should I beef with you and I can just get in, in my Lamborghini and go shopping and eat some good food and just like chill like Bitch, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, peace be still. Weed hookups. Okay. So, so Scorpio, you, you, you and your little weed man, y'all like homie lover friends type deal? He keep you high, you keep him high? <laughs> right. <laughs> that part. Guarded. They always have you ready to jump a bitch. 
Yeah, I can see that with the little weed, man. You know how that is. They like you. But the other hoes, they digging them and loving them, the baby mama type shit. So I guess when you over there at the spot, chilling, hanging out, smoking a little bit, whatever this is, this ain't got to be a weed hookup. This could be just a hookup. When you there enjoying yourself, you just feel kind of like on pins and needles because you wondering like, when this bitch going to jump out the bushes? Like, he too good to be true. It's that type of energy. Because I feel like you're experiencing something different with this person, Scorpio, because they coming at you different. You don't feel like they coming, coming from like a place of falling in love with you, but you don't feel like they coming from a place either just trying to get you in the bed or like some bullshit. Like this person intrigues you. You really trying to figure this one out. You trying to read this one, okay? Medical record. I feel like I should use protection with you. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, probably with the weed, man. I'm getting two different people here. Definitely. Yeah, if you, I mean, come on now. That's the weed, man. We know that's community dick. Period. That's why the girls mad and want to fight you. Because you in there sitting too long. You in there drinking shots or Remy and shit and smoking and shit. You in there eating shrimps and lobster tails in the trap. Typical Scorpio. We get down with the best of them. We'll go to the penthouse suite at the top. Uh, in the projects in the hood with my homegirl or homeboy. That's just that on the head. Scorpios are unapologetic, unapologetically who we are. We don't give a fuck. We don't. Long distance relationship, relocation, okay. Yeah, see, because I feel like once this person realized, um, Scorpio, that you're not like a gold digger, once this person get, gets the essence of who you truly are and see how selfless and giving you are, this person ready to relocate, this person ready to get married, this person ready to have children, this person ready to put you on their bank accounts, this person ready to put you on the deeds, this person ready to rewrite their will. It's like boom, 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 boom. Like this person, like something happened, this person just like boom, 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 boom. I don't want to do this long distance shit no more. I don't want to, I don't want to hide who I am. Because see, I feel like you let this person know, like you, you really not into motherfuckers who not who they really are. Like, that's a deal breaker for you. So this person, I feel like this person now feels the urgency to like, I feel like this, this y'all coming together and them telling you, look, you know, I've been a little dishonest with you and, but I feel like you feel this motherfucker on the like, cause who, you, you got money you got like, this ain't no little money, property, all type of shit. Like when, and that's what I'm saying, Scorpio, the better you are, the more selective you got to be. It ain't no longer about your preference and what you like. Once you get that type of money and that kind of stability or, or that type of fame, you got to move fucking different. And you got to move with different people and it's a certain type of way. And I, I just feel like this him relaying that to you and you like, damn, my prince motherfucking charming. Damn, I was just finna give up on that motherfucking nigga because he was too far away and then fucking the weed, man, he, he, he. Talking all this shit and trying to pay bills and wanting to move in and he trying to graduate out the hood. He trying to hook up with somebody. Uh uh, no, no, like, but you was thinking about it, Scorpio. <laughs> on one of them good old high nights when your boo long distance, you was thinking about it, but you ain't go that way. Yeah, you was thinking about it. Protect it. Look at them Dober -tich -doberman, -pitch Doberman picture ears. Somebody listening to every word you say, Scorpio, I'm hearing that. Somebody could be um, wiretapped here. Or I'm hearing, too, somebody leave their phone on record when they leave home, Scorpio, so they can hear what you're saying after they're gone. Somebody using a record. Somebody listening. My grandma used to always say, um, look at them dome my pigeon ears. Stop being fucking nosy. They be up like a motherfucker. Somebody listening. But you protect it. Don't worry about it. Because you ain't doing shit wrong. <laughs> Scorpio live a true life. Whack, child, children don't like your partner. Uh-oh. Baby kids. Ooh, y'all, look. I just told y'all surveillance. Somebody uh, listening to somewhere, Scorpio, a date. Somebody watching the fuck out of Look at Scorpio ass. Scorpio incognito on the ass too, bitch. I'm tatted up, swatted up, shaded up, hatted up, and gunned up, bitch. Yeah. Why you looking for me? I'm looking for you too. That part. So the children don't like the new boo. Okay. Who cares? Move right along. 
Move right along. For some of y'all, y'all children grown, so who gives a fuck? For the rest of y'all, y'all children young, and who gives a fuck? And for the rest of y'all, it ain't about how your children feel. It's about how you feel, how this person make you feel. And I'm not getting no energy like they treating your child fucked up. I'm just getting the energy of like, for people with grown children, it just always feel to me like they don't, they don't, they, it makes them, it make them feel some type of way that somebody actually love it on you. <laughs> like it make them want to say he whack because he's loving on you. Okay, I ain't gonna, that's a whole nother story about grown children. I do, I, I do a um, message on that too. So why is never judge a book by its cover here? They're secretly loaded here. I feel like too, this is going to be some crazy shit, y'all. But I, my spirit guy said it, so I'm going to say it. I feel like this person will flip flops a lot. They could be Gucci flip flops. I don't fucking know, but I just feel like this person just... If you saw this person, you 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 get low key like, you know how how people uh, people get to a certain amount of money to the point where you can't really tell that they got money. Like how Jay Z look now with this nappy ass hair. You might see him with a t shirt or old ass t shirt or a blaze on with some jeans and some tennis shoes, and you like that don't. In our minds, that don't look like money, but he filthy fucking rich. Like that's the energy I'm getting. How this person look just clean smell good you know nothing like nothing that'll throw you off and be like mm -hmm. like you know you got some niggas too they be like that but they gonna have on that rolex or they gonna have on that you know this chain or something that let you know they got some checks somewhere like they want to flaunt a little bit this man don't flaunt at all this man got for real money scorpio that's into you he he he, he he's not into all that crazy shit like he playing for real playing his wealth is other. His wealth is places where you can't see it unless, you know, unless he let you in. Yep. Your overall energy is the fool. You keep pulling this fool because it's it's a lot of things new coming into you, Scorpio, and it's it's coming in different packages. Okay, you're not gonna be able to read so much into these people. Why? Because they're vibrating as high as you are. That's why. I wish it was something deep for me to say, but it's not. You, when, when you're vibrating, see, the, the reason we, we do so well with reading people and the reason why they hate us so much is we see through them. You know, it's, it's it, and not so much see through them, but mirror them to the point where they see themselves. Okay? So, when you're dealing with Scorpio, it's more spiritual lessons than it is physical le lessons. So with this fool card, it's giving me, you know, like you and this person, even though y'all are, y'all bank accounts, y'all money, y'all wealth is different. I feel like this person has more wealth than you, but I feel like you and this person are more, like you're the, you, you are the only person this person has ever met that like, Besides money, y'all just alike. They just a male and you a female. Y'all y'all just alike. The hermit card, yeah. This person very spiritual, very wise. This person, this person is. This person is a thinker. This person is a is a um you know a, a person that likes to um study read books okay this this to me this feels like a person that would say like my goal this year is to read 100 books last year i wrote i read 75 like this like it's that like you're not gonna catch this person in the club this person don't waste idle time it's almost like this person is a walking time capsule oh this is your ass scorpio like you like everything is just so like this person know what the fuck going. They know how shit work in, 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 in spirit and in the physical world. I love this for you. The nine of pentacles. Like I say, even though this person know that you don't have as much money as they do, they see you and your abundance in a different in a different way, Scorpio. They see things, they see wealth in a different way. They've been broke, they've been rich, they done had it all, lost it all, gained it back. It's that type of energy. So this person is very, very intrigued with the fact that of how you do what you do with what you have. I'm hearing that. 
And I feel like this person communicates very well. This person is a very good communicator. They read a hundred fucking books a year. This person is a hermit. <laughs> Literally. An introvert. The six of swords. This person, like, you know, they don't they don't do tumultuous. They don't do toxic. Not no more. They don't do they don't do traces of that shit. And it only takes them five minutes. Do you know some men, Steve Harvey said five minutes, that's him. Some men got this shit down to two minutes. I just heard that. So I say you telling them about five minutes. What about the men who've mastered that shit? They had two two minutes of knowing what they're going to do with your ass. All right, I'm just saying, why is weed hookups here? The hair. <laughs> I can't make it up. I told you the weed man want to get married too. Shit, Scorpio, what you think? He ain't no man. Shit, the weed man a man too. Shit, they want to fucking hook up. They, they, they want out of this life too. Shit. Fuck. Weed man, like, don't count me out, Scorpio. Like, come on now. Look, he up there. He trying to tell you to do long distance doing bullshit. Trying to get you to fuck with him. You like, nah. Come on now. You know he ain't way up there. You know. Nah, come on, weed man. You doing too much. I'm going to have to start coming and smoke with your ass. I already got to worry about the bitches outside that don't want to fight. Yeah. You walk away from the little weed, man, Scorpio. You start paying for your weed. Nah, shit, fuck it. You got plenty of bread any fucking way. <laughs> the will of one damn reverse. You get your weed somewhere else, Scorpio. You, you been another block. Fuck it. That weed man wants you too, though. Okay, Scorpio, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Scorpio. You're very attractive. Why is that head of cups here? <laughs> oh, we, man, it's over with. The head of cups and the, and, and, and the world card, stop calling and texting. Tell me I come hang out, come smoke. You got something for me. You got some shit fresh off the boat. Stop trying to sound like Ray Charles, bitch. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles. He trying to lure you in with that weed and that money. Nah, I'm good. You ain't even answer, you ain't even communicate with him no more. You ain't answering his texts or nothing, Scorpio. Damn. You know, got the weed, man, fucked up. Spirit guys, Angel, what else? Yeah, the five of wands. Scorpio, you got tired of fighting your way out the weed spy house. And y'all don't take this take, don't take it literally, okay? Just, just put yourself in this situation, wherever you at with this person, and it feel like you always got to like, you know, fight against some kind of transgression because of other women, or you know, this person could be a player. I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's just somebody you hang out with when, when, cause your old, your old dude, a girl, they long distance, or this is your person. Or uh, both of y'all could be fucking hanging out, but I don't feel like nobody's sleeping with nobody. Because you know why? I feel like each one of y'all kind of surveillance in each other. You could even be riding the way he had and going early and just staying there and watching him. And he could be doing the same thing with you. You know, them long distance relationships. That's all it's about. Like to me, 85% of a long distance relationship is trying to figure out who the fuck cheating long distance. That's just that on that. And that's why this guarded is here. Guarded. They, they always have you ready to jump a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> now, if we going back to that to that um, long distance relationship, that's how you feeling. You know, you feeling like, I don't know what this person doing. Look at what I'm doing. I could have fucked the weed man or whoever whoever this is. I could have I could have slept with him every night. He wouldn't know it. You know, so you thinking in your mind they could be doing the same shit. So you feeling guarded with this person. And I feel like they feel it, and that's why they want to relocate and just, you know, come to where you are. Yeah, the Two of Pentacles and the King of Wands, yeah, they, they, they realize that juggling shit is over with. They realize now they got to make another move. They got to bust a move with Scorpio. Now you got to put your money where your mouth is. Now, come on, it's time. The gig is up. And I'm feeling like that's how this, feel, this person is feeling with you, though, Scorpio. This person that look don't look loaded, but they loaded. This person just feeling like, you know what, whatever I'm, whatever I'm juggling down here, this could just be working business too with that King of Wands coming out. 
Cause I feel like whatever this person got to tie up where where they're at is business. Yep, the king king of um cups. This person too, Scorpio. I feel like they just you know they move. They're action driven. Like you, but I feel like every now and then you get to the point where you feel like this person don't love you or not interested in you. But it's not that this person just they don't. They're not there yet with you, Scorpio. They're not really... They, they don't know if they can really, like, all out trust you. The Empress. They know it's something about you they're not going to find in nobody else. But they know this is not going to be easy. The Strength card in reverse, they know they're not going to just, you know... Like, you a powerhouse in yourself, Scorpio. This person realized that, like, they went in, you know, thinking something else and... Five minutes in, ten minutes in, twenty minutes in, thirty minutes in, now a year in, like this person like captivated. They they they're ready for marriage now. They're ready to propose. They they're ready to relocate. They just gotta be near you. Like they're not gonna give nobody nothing and nobody an uh, opportunity to to swoop in and swoop Scorpio away. Like that's that that that's not what they that's not what they're about. And I feel like, too, this person is, is now, when this person relocates, they're going to begin to invest. They're going to put their money where their mouth is. That's how you're going to know, Scorpio, that this person is real. Because you, you, you're you smart enough to realize in, in your relationship and connection with this person that the way they move does not mean they don't. Because they move, like, not in love. <laughs> how am I trying to say this? See, just like this person is able to hide their wealth, this person is able to hide their feelings, but they do it in a way that's so meticulous to you, Scorpio, because they vibrate as high as you do or higher. So they, they know that they, first of all, they know that they have to intrigue you. They know that they, they know that their money ain't going to do it any fucking way. So they like the game that they're playing because they, they really see and know that you don't give a fuck about their money. You got your own money. They realize you don't have the money that they have, but in society's eyes, the money that you have is good fucking money. Like, you ain't got to be with nobody for their money. Like, the money you got, you can do anything in this world you want it to fucking do. So he, this person realized that, but at the same time, they know you smart and clever, intelligent, intuitive. So you got this person kind of whereas... You know, he could have simply, like, his simple way of interacting with women, you making him configure everything over. Like, he just got to go back to the drawing board with you. But the one thing this person do know is when you say, when you tell this person, look, I don't know what the fuck you doing up there. This ain't, I, I'm not, I'm just, like, I'm not feeling like, I'm not in a good place with us connecting on this level. Like, if this, you know, what, what it's going to be like, then I, I, I just rather not. And I feel like when you do that, that, just, that was like, to me, that's something that set this person like into motion. They was like, okay, it's almost like after all the exercises and things they done tried to do to work Scorpio out to see if you the one, it's something about that that just said to them, yeah, it's time. It's time to get to where Scorpio at. Because I see now either somebody else in her ear, this person very smart. <laughs> They're not dumb at all. Either somebody else working on Scorpio or Scorpio is about to jump ship and just that's that on that. And he he don't want either one, okay? All right, why is medical record here? I feel like I should use protection with you. Oh, my God, Scorpio. That's in the middle of your read. Be careful, Scorpio. Jimmy up. That plan B, plan B shit is there. I, kept, I keep getting plan B in all our readings. Yeah, you got the page of cups in reverse. Somebody, finna, somebody trying to trick Scorpio. If you a dude, somebody putting a hole in your rubber or something, yeah, this some past shit. You don't sleep with somebody from your past, Scorpio. They trying to trick your ass. They trying to get pregnant or get you pregnant. I ain't hearing so much about no disease. I'm getting pregnancy. Somebody trying to hold you. And if this, if you past childbearing years, this is about somebody trying to apologize to you about giving you a disease. This is somebody like coming to you and being like, look, I got chlamydia and you need to go to the clinic. It's that type of injury. But when you go, you ain't got it. You don't got it. 
Nope. No ham, no ma'am, no turkey, no Scorpio. What I just say? You ain't give me a fuck thing, but but what you did give me was that's the end. Thank you, goodbye. <laughs> For sure, if not, if if you didn't think it was, it is. Yeah, see that? That let me know you ain't got shit. The stock heart. You healthy and whole. Period. The title card. Yeah, somebody, I feel like somebody thought, whoever this person is, they thought they was coming with, like, some explosive news, like Scorpio, you know. I feel like they feel like they gave them access to you again. This probably somebody, this definitely somebody from your past. Could be your children's father, I don't know. But I just feel like they show up to your house and be like, I found out I had chlamydia, you, you need to go by the clinic, you know, just that matter of factly. The Nine of Cups is here clarifying the long distance relationship relocation. Absolutely. Because like I said, I feel like when you tell this person how you truly feel, Scorpio, because I feel like you've been downplaying it a little bit too. You've been having your little fun while they away as well. Okay, but I feel like you're coming to the realization that something about this person you want to get to know even more. You want to, you do want a, uh, a deeper level of commitment from this person. You do want to see what this person like now it's like you calling this person out like look am I worth it what are you gonna do at this point like I'm tired of feeling I'm tired of being in the eight of swords energy I'm tired of wondering if you sleeping with somebody else if if you don't feel like you know you love me so much or you you know like into me so much you wanna be with me every day like I'm feeling like you feeling like that like you approaching it like that and once you open up to this person like that they open back up to you that's why I feel like this car is here because it's like it's like, it's joy to them. They just pick you up off the ground and just like, like they so they so glad the war is over between y'all. Like the back and forth shit, they, they, they just like, they glad that they there. They're, they relocated, like they can keep you in their eyesight all the time. Like you just their wish fulfillment. And this person just glad that you loved them like that before you even knew about the money, the millions. Like, this person know they can trust you, and they totally, they, they, this person, they're going to put their money where their mouth is. They all in. They want every collaboration they can have with you in business and life, death. Like, this person all in. That's just that on that. Yeah, this person know you're not there for the money, Scorpio. And they know they got to love you unconditionally. This person knows that. They know that a house is not a home. <laughs> Unless it's love inside. They know that's your motto. They, and I feel like, too, for a lot of you guys, I feel like um, this is coming, like, later in your life. Like, 50s, you know, 60s. Like, that type of energy. Because it's, it's, it's feeling to me like somebody who knows that they need to um, love somebody who's close to their age. Like, this, this person to me just feels like, like they lived before. Like they went through so much in their in their life in their life in their past lives that like they really get women like period just like Steve Harvey I feel like that's why the that's the reference of the of the reading because I feel like this person who I'm channeling they really get women and I just wish it was more men like this but this is what you attract or maybe it is more men like that maybe I'm just not maybe you maybe Scorpio just not vibrating that high yet because this is a high vibrational love. This is a stand the test of time type love. This is, you know, wiping your ass at the end type. This ain't superficial. Teeth and tongue fall out. This ain't about beauty here. Okay, it's, it helped that you were be beautiful, but like, nah. This person really understands the, the, the different degrees of life and how fast it goes. With the Knight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. But this person made up in their mind, like, whatever level of love and language, baby, they all in with you, Scorpio. They ready to learn. They ready to cut the fat. They just who they are. Now they just pouring. I feel like this person just poured their heart out of you now. Like, where they were so reserved and, yup, where they were so reserved and so studious and so this and that. Now that this motherfucker, like, a King of Cups on steroids. They, like, as soon as I said that, the Queen of Cups. You feel the same fucking way, Scorpio. Your ass pouring like a river too, so shut up. <laughs> we glad. We glad we made it, Scorpio. You made it, Scorpio. Yay. 
at least this test was a good test. See, see how high vibrational tests differ differ from the low vibrational motherfuckers. You you in a you in a whole another realm and world now. We in a whole. We got to stop talking about this other shit. Yo, look, she want to fall like the Queen of Cups, unprotected. Yeah, this person make you feel safe, Scorpio. They do. They really do. They warm your heart. I just, this person is an introvert, Scorpio. They, 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 as soon as I said that the Five of Cups came. Listen, this is what I want you to know, too. This is what Source is telling me to tell you about this person. When this person needs space, give it to them, Scorpio. I feel like you're going to understand that. This person is such an introvert that they suffer from anxiety, okay? Because they suffer from anxiety because of, of how people have treated them about what they have. This person doesn't, it's not as bad as it used to be, Scorpio, because of your love. Your love is like a band-aid. Like, you really have helped this person um, intuitively. I want to say that. Like, you've helped this person spiritually. This person is spiritual, but on, on other principles of spirituality. Like, this person is a master manifester. This person is a healer. Okay? This person... This person, what this person is not, though, is this person is not a water bearer. Like, this person can't carry emotions well. Like, they don't know how to deal. So, anxiety to them is good, if that makes sense. I'm just telling you what my spirit got. When this person is in the Five of Cups energy, this is when they come up with the million dollar ideas. This is how they got their money. This person needs this, in other words. When they get like that, give them space, Scorpio. It doesn't mean they're manic, depressed, they're going to kill themselves or nothing like that. This is how this person identifies with um, their gifts. It's just, it's, it's weird, strange, but like, you'll get used to it, Scorpio. You'll get over it. Have your few drinks with friends while he going through this, you know, bachelor time. I just heard learn, learn Spanish. Somebody need to learn Spanish. I'm here too. If somebody learns Spanish, their job will get easier. The Ten of Wands. And it will pay more. I don't know why that came out. No more burden, Scorpio. No more fake proposals and people just, you know, want to be around Scorpio for sex and for the money and for whatever reasons. This is somebody coming in who's totally surveillance you somebody who knows you in the public eye they they just know how you move they they know how you flow and you change their life scorpio and they're forever dead indebted to you i love this energy all right scorpio if you're still with me hit that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that join button become a part of the members only community we love to have you there let those ads play for 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from youtube if you